so yesterday I went to a gun show. Uh, so, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I bought a new rifle. Wanted one for a super long time. I saw this one. It, it was actually really expensive. But since I have no self-control and uh, I really wanted it, I ended up dishing out a lot, a lot, a lot of money to, to well, to buy it, I guess. I still don't have ammo for it, but I'll get some soon enough, hopefully. The man that sold it to me said that he had a bunch that he was going to give me. I mean, for the price I paid, I, hope, I was hoping he'd have some ammo. Okay, so yeah, a new gun show purchase. As you can see here, super shiny, so it's nickel plated. Oh, there you go. Quick sweep over. So, if you know what this rifle is, well, it's a Winchester 1873. It was made in 1888. So, it's a third model. It has the buckhorn sights on it, the front sight. So, this rifle, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was that much money because even the man that sold it says, I don't know what it is. I mean, because I, I talked to a, a Winchester collector right after and he says, because if you can see it's dinged up, well it's not, the, the wood's not dinged up, it's just, you can see that it's, well, I mean, it, it's lived his life. And underneath here, it used to be a sling mount. And then on form, you can't see it, but, well, you kind of, in the front there, there's used to be a sling mount and it's it's cracked. The From here to here, there's a crack, but that's all like glued together, so that's fine. But then again, I could buy other forearms and stocks, so it's not really a big deal. So yeah, it's all uh, nickel plated. The guy thought maybe that it was a showpiece or some kind of wall hanger or something because there's a little thing on it here. There's a little crest and this is quite, quite old. I mean, if I rub my finger on it, it's gonna come off and it's basically, I, I put pictures of this on the forums, but I had to research it myself. It's just uh, Canada's slogan, or it's Canada's motto, motto pretty much. So yeah, basically the guy thought that the nickel probably on it didn't come out of the factory. Because I mean, in 1888, if nickel plating is still like this, it's probably the best nickel plating in the world so far, so I, I doubt it. But yeah, I mean the... And I also got it, I, I, I wasn't that dumb this time, I brought myself a, a bore light, checked in the barrel to see the bore, and it, it, I mean, it looks like it's virtually never been shot. It's pristine, super good quality, not a single pit in there, nothing. And the rifle was made in 1888, so it's a hundred something years old, which is nice, but yeah, I mean, I'm filming this on the kitchen table here. Yeah, the... And the nickel isn't pristine, I mean, obviously. The man told me he's had it for over 30 years and he says when I got it, that's what it was like. I mean, you can see there's little dings. I mean, this is like a, a, a dent in the barrel here. I mean, it's, there's, there's patina on the on the nickel, but it's pretty, the whole rifle itself pretty much is pristine. The The action on it feels like a new gun. It's not it's not loose and used up. It's not all rusty and super stiff. It's just it almost sticks like a new gun. Like it's I don't know how many rounds got fired through this. I mean you could see the loading gate here. You could see his the, the rounds there, the, the the blue wings off of it. But yeah, I mean the hammer itself doesn't have nickel plating, have hiccups, but doesn't have nickel plating. I mean, yeah, the gun is just super shiny. It kind of looks dirty because there's fingerprints all over it. Yeah, it was a lot of money. When I got home, I looked it up. But I thought it was just a cool touch that it had the Canada's motto on it. Oh, and uh, also, I mean, the the little loading gate there in the back, or the loading gate, the the cleaning rod thing that I don't have a cleaning rod for, so I'll go buy one. And also, it's 44.40, so that's a, it's a decent caliber. I just have to go buy some.
yeah, just a new purchase here. Try to get it's actually 24 inch barrel, pretty long, full length mag tube. I'm just looking on the forums and stuff to see if I could find info on like nickel plating or what there is, but I don't know. Yeah, just did another quick video of something I bought. Probably gonna be one of my last firearms that I buy since broke the bank on that one. <clears throat> that I buy, I mean, that's that much money. Because June 10th is another gun show, so, well, I don't know what's going to happen there. I, 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 yeah, I want to work the action, but it's just, I mean, the, the, the dust cover and stuff is just super smooth. Oh, man, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Oh. Oh, no, can't do it. If I... No. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, so pretty much the rifle's pristine. The the bore's pristine. Inside of it is pristine. I mean, I, I'm not usually a fan of shiny things, but it, it gives it a pretty cool look. And then it has a little stamp on it there. It's not a stamp, pretty much. It's just like paint, and it's super brittle because it's really old. But yeah, so probably a showpiece or something. I just really want to go shoot it, but I'll make a video whenever uh, I do go, do go shoot it for the first time. Yeah, thanks for watching. This was a kind of a long-winded video.